here we are in the end of, I believe it's Hunter's Chorus, song six. We're in measure 23 and 24. I have a notation here with a down, up, up, down. It's not marked like that because if you were to look at your part, it looks like this. And it results in this bowing. There is nothing wrong with that. Yet to respect the rule of emphasizing down bow strokes on the beginning of measures, I suggest that you write this into your part. And so you result in a down bow on every one of those accents. And those piccatos on the way up are really easier. It's a natural flow of short, short, long, short, short, strong. And then lastly, there is a lift that I've marked right here. And this is the most important, this lift, because then you have a down bow, down bow. You're going to then do this up bow. If you do not do that, again, there is nothing wrong with, with the way it is written in Suzuki, which it is like this. The problem with that, again, is what direction is your bow going here, up or down? And the answer is you're going up on an accent. Is that something that is good or bad? It's better to be down on an accent, if you can. Yes, it's possible. Yet to be more traditional, we're going to do it this way, which will then result like this. You see, we can have more power on those ending accents. You're ending that down bow. And the reason why it's better down bow, because you, then you look at the end measure. Again, we don't really necessarily have to start every measure down bow, because the phrase. You see that, how I'm ending down bow? So all in context, I'll play from here to here to give an example of how this results. Instead, Suzuki would have you play the same thing the very last measure is a little bit awkward. Ending that up bow, and then you have to do another up bow or down bow. It, it doesn't feel right. The bowing I'm trying here, measure 23. Up. Up. You have that rest to then take it down bow. That is what I suggest you do for this.